Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Karen and I am here today to show and share with you my guest design team project for Lorna Taylor from TaylorMade Journals. What I ended up with was two journals instead of one because I had something different in mind for the cover and when I started to create it, it just didn't go with the torn journal look. So I instead made torn journal covers to go with the, the rest of the project. So I have two of them here. They're single, single signatures, vintage buttons on the spine. One is more red, one is more green. And this was my favorite image, which inspired me to choose this as one of the kits to create with because I just love the image. I just think it's so sweet. And I was intending on making a velvet cover. I have this beautiful velvet and silk scarf made by Echo that I got at a vintage market. And it does go beautifully with the color, but it just, like I said, did not suit the theme. So I will save it for a different project. The two kits I chose to use from Lorna are vintage Christmas portraits and songs of Christmas. So I do like music and try to incorporate bits and pieces of that theme into each of these. Also, I used the Graphic 45 um, Songs of Christmas, 12 Days of Christmas paper pack. And another paper pad that I have that's about 12 to 15 years old from k and Company. And another vintage Christmas paper pack from Hobby Lobby. Those were the main features. Vintage lace throughout, vintage lace and trim. The only thing that is not authentically vintage is these wooden buttons and some of the fiber trims. But other than that, it's all antique and vintage lace. So I'm gonna start with the red journal first. These measure, they're a little smaller, they measure seven by five and a quarter. And I have layered vintage lace under this sweet little image that I chose to use. Vintage buttons down the spine and then the lace just wraps around the back. And a little bit of vintage lace peeking down the bottom, fibers at the top. And let's open it up. This is just some shabby looking silk uh, tie closure. And on the other one, I used this rippled or crinkled seam binding, which I've never used before as a tie closure, but they're fairly lightweight, very lightweight. So I figured they could handle it. Inside I've got just some scrapbook paper. And then I've got the sheet music here with one of the beautiful images. This is a sweet little image too that I loved. One of my favorites in this kit. We've got some Edith Holden book page here and I've just tied a ribbon behind the belly band, put on a vintage button and a, a little bead onto the satin ribbon. This is a vintage postcard. I had to put it in this plastic sleeve because the paint is starting to peel. And it's just so absolutely beautiful. I've got the handwriting on the back and I don't know what the date is but I'm sure it's about a hundred years old. It's amazing. So I tore all the, the pages and before I started creating these this project I was thinking I really wanted to try the torn journal look but I wasn't sure, so I cut all my papers, the regular square sides, and then I thought, no, I'm going for it. So had I not done that, I could have done the rips a little bit bigger, so I had to be very, very careful, and I didn't have much edging to work with. Got some parchment paper here, some wrapping paper, and other types of paper that I've used. Some of this handmade paper, you'll see, is from my lady in Russia that I've been buying some fiber trims from. The way that she packages and wraps her shipments is just so lovely. 
These are done with uh, die cuts and uh, onto metallic gold paper. What I do is I put um, double sticky sided, double sided sticky tape on the back so that I can just peel that off and they're much easier to adhere to your project. Here I've done some dry embossing. This beautiful vintage lace has a silver thread in it. And I've just got one of the images with some snowflakes on here. Stamped on the back with Sing Rejoice, Let the Bells Ring for its Christmas time once again. And on this side, we've got some beautiful antique lace. And these sweet little images. This is actually a paper doll that I bought at a uh, vintage show. And it's got the original paper on the back. It's just the cutest little image. And out of the um, digital kit from Lorna, I just left some of them double-sided so they made a little booklet. This one is stamped with the sentiment that says, May the true spirit of Christmas fill your heart with peace, your home with love. And that's onto some lined note paper. Stamped with a Christmas tree. This was parchment, uh, a song sheet of the Nutcracker. And I just cut, it was very wide. And it's done on very heavy parchment paper. And what I did was I just cut it up and made it into several tags. And just thought that was so cute. There's another image from one of Lorna's kits. The vintage Christmas music sheets. This is a large journaling card with one of the uh, portrait images. Some German book page. And just some scrapbook paper. Stamped on the back with tidings of comfort and joy. And this is just wrapping paper that I've used. I actually originally was also considering doing this all sepia toned because, you know, vintage and antique, uh, that's what you saw. So the, I'm gonna try that in the future, for sure. This small tag here is the song, The 12 Days of Christmas. And I just tucked it inside this vintage lace pocket and the word Noel. On this side, we've got paper, pun paper edge punching and some seam binding laced through there. This is vintage lace here and one of the sweet little images from the kit. On this side of the page just an image of Santa, our old Saint Nick. And this trim I just absolutely love. It's just so gorgeous. That burgundy color is amazing. I typically don't really like to use traditional Christmas colors. I'm not really a red and green person whatsoever. All of my Christmas decor is either burgundy and gold, purple and gold, white and pink, pink, blush, those tones. But um, I really like the idea of using vintage Christmas colors for here. And you've got some ribbon here, a couple of tags. I used a lot of holly and berries themes. Just a sticker here, it says the word joy. This is some beautiful crocheted vintage lace and a reindeer wooden button on the side. And these charms are so funky. I bought a pair of Christmas earrings a couple years ago and thought, hmm, I can use those as charms. So even though they are kind of um, silly, I included them because I thought the colors went so perfect. Here we've got the word Christmas. This is just a large journaling tag on this side. You could use those as photo mats, of course. And some script stamping in here. An image of a little sweet little girl on this side. And it can be used as a tuck spot. That's a um, Victoriana postcard. And what I did was I just trimmed them down. I might just leave that there, except that it covers up the word Rejoice. This is another sweet image backed onto the handmade paper and a tag with a little star charm on it and some trim, topper trim. This is a vintage hanky and it's embroidered so beautifully. Just lovely. Included that there. Another journaling card on this side. And here we've got a booklet. 
that I've made and just paper clipped in with a little piece of fluff. This has some vintage blush pink trim with the uh, iridescent eyelash trim. And I've stamped on the inside, may the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. These papers are from chapter one. It's their, I think it's vintage invoices or ledger paper, invoices, uh, that digital kit, which I've used throughout. This is some French book page, and I tried stamping and embossing with gold. Uh, this paper doesn't take it very well, so I, I included it anyhow, but I wouldn't do it again necessarily. Center of the first signature, well, the only signature, and we've just got a sweet little image with the holly leaves and berries stamped on the back side, as well as this one. What I used here was some cheesecloth that I've got in a gold color, and it's got the metallic gold fibers in it. And the beads that I chose to use are this angel and the word joy. This one has a sleigh and a Santa bead and a snowflake in the red, red and silver and white. More Christmas music. And this is a very old Christmas card. And it's actually from, I wanna get this off carefully, Sweet Little Elf. And it's from Denmark, stamp 1953, postmarked. So that's in Danish. And I didn't want a blank backside, so I added this sweet little image of this little girl. And then just folded it over the top of this page. This little clip, several of the uh, elements that I used in this were gifted to me. And this is one of them just bringing in some red and on this side I've got vintage lace um, a pocket and a snowflake charm and a snow snowman uh, sticker here with a little doily that I've sprayed with some gold spray tattered angels spray and here we've got a little image and a tag out of gold metallic paper and just a sweet little silk ribbon here in the corner which I've fed through to the other side. This I learned from I believe it's Melissa from Country Morning Creations. That's where I got a lot of the um, inspiration to do a torn journal also from chapter one papers. I follow them on Instagram and I just find them so um, current with all the new trends. This is part of that nutcracker parchment paper song sheet. And I've just added a little pin with some beads and a holly leaf. Oopsie. And over here, we've got a vintage envelope. It's actually stamped 1894, so that's antique. And I didn't put anything, I don't think I put anything inside this one. And just used a little paper clip with a silk ribbon to dress it up a bit. This page is um, Edith Holden, book page for December. And just love the images of the birds and the berries. And what I did was I, I had actually glued this on first and then realized, oh, it kind of prevents me from being able to tuck something wider in that spot. But just the way the folds were, I thought I can tuck this in here and leave the image loose. And it still all looks really well, goes well together. This is, of course, crocheted vintage cotton and a wooden button. This side I've got another um, part of the Nutcracker parchment song sheet. Here's a sweet little image from the kit. 
and some vintage lace and vintage trim with sparkle in it. Those are just die cuts that I made. A pair of skates stamped on there, and this is um, an invoice from Chapter One Papers. This side has a bit of seam binding and an image from Graph 45 paper with stamped on the back, Silent Night, Holy Night. And here you can see the back side of what's on the other side of the page, which is a beautiful, beautiful, delicate antique lace doily. And I've just added a silk ribbon there to anchor it. Here we've got some writing paper and some of this Tim Holtz tape. Let it snow. And a, a large journaling card with some vintage lace with the silver sparkle in it and a beautiful sticker there stamped on the back just with a uh, canceled postage. Have a blessed Christmas. This is one of the images from the kit and up here we've got some beautiful crochet vintage lace with a looks like a snowflake um, holographic bead or charm. Some stickers on this side and on this side of the page got a pocket and a tag just with some lovely fluff on the top. Those I used at an edge punch to get that look. I didn't really like this image on the back because that guy is just kind of not so cute looking. So I turned it around and just put a pocket on my on it like that. And this is the last piece of my beautiful, delicate uh, vintage lace, which is actually seam binding. And this was from my friend Kim when I did her journal in the summer. This is the last piece that I had left. And the last page, Away in a Manger. And here I found a beautiful red crocheted doily at the vintage market on Friday and it just fit the back page nicely. Here I've got a little lace bag that I have tea dyed. Just popped it in there. And here is a uh, stamped and embossed uh, tag with some vintage lace on the top. So that is the first journal. And this is the back. On to the second one. So here we've got about four or five layers of vintage lace that I, I have mostly just attached with glue and then I've sewn around it to anchor it underneath the photo. This was gifted to me on top of a uh, piece of lace, vintage lace that I had purchased and it came with the bulb pin and the button and the little tiny tag. So I left it because I think it was just so sweet. A little bit of uh, tag toppers here and the vintage lace goes around the back. I also really like this part of it. I didn't want to cut it off, so I just folded it down, and I think it works. Same size as the other one, one signature, and about seven by five, five and a quarter inches. This side we've got a, I was gonna do an envelope, I forgot to do that. This is just a paper doll, or um, it's a Victorian, part of a um, garland that my sister gave me years ago and then what she did was cut them all off and glue them front to back and then made little Christmas ornaments from them. So I've had this at least 25 years. This is just a uh, embossed gold journaling card on this side. Sweet little girl on this page that says the first Noel. And here's another part of a book page from Edith Holden that says December and the little charm that I put on here is from Tim Holtz, Tis the Season, tied around with some seam binding and a bolt pin. And then on the journaling card, I've run some velvet, leftover velvet scrap, that's from Sheila. And this little booklet of this sweet little girl with her mittens stamped on the inside. And a large piece of crocheted vintage lace with three wooden buttons on it. Now initially I had planned to do one signature so 
my thinking was it would have looked like this. So that determined the placing of each of these lace tabs, just in case anyone's wondering why does this one have two and this one only has one, that's the answer. And on this side, we've got some green parchment paper, more words for a song, and some of the Nutcracker, Nutcracker music on parchment paper, stamped on the back with Merry Christmas, some vintage trim here, and one of the small journaling cards from Graphic 45's 12 Days of Christmas. Here's another invoice image, and this is one of my favorites. Well, it turned out to be I used the same image on the cover of the first journal because I was only thinking of making one journal and then I had to decide which one I was going to use for the front of the second journal. I generally print out two copies of most of my favorite images from any digital kit that I use because I want to allow for either a mistake or a change of decision or I might want to use the image in two places which I did in this case stamped inside with Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And of course, you've got just plain journaling paper there. Lots of room to write. If you take out all of the ephemera, you've got tons of room to write, and then you can put it all back when you're done. Here we've got some more beautiful vintage lace with, with uh, done on tulle. And the embroidery and the raised um, stitching is so lovely. Here I've got a uh, vintage note card. It actually goes inside the envelope from, I think it's later on in this book, and all I did was add a little tab and the word joy that I've die cut out of metallic gold paper. Yeah, I just didn't really care for the words on this one. It just says the Newsboys, which I've seen the show, the musical, but it's kind of more of a feminine journal, so I just decided to cover it up, and it I think it's okay. This, this side has one of the images from Lorna's kit of the Christmas music. Here's another tag from the Nutcracker book page on parchment. This I made a, an over-the-page journaling card combo. This one has the snowflake paper in the background, some beautiful vintage lace, and a journaling card. And then these little mittens attached on a bulb pin. And this one has um, scrapbook paper and a journaling card there. And they both are stamped with snowflakes. Those, a lot of my stamps are heartfelt creations, which I have said in the past. And I just love them. So very useful some line journal paper and in this little uh, lace top pocket I've just got some parchment paper with some fabric that was gifted to me gold gold um, uh, ink in there and then I just used a chrysanthemum sticker stamped it on the back with the holly what I do too I've said this before is I slightly round the corners anytime I've got a put something into vintage lace because it just seems to catch on it if I don't, if you leave them square. And here we've got another belly band type of pocket with an image of the from the kit, sweet little angels here. And I've got two tiny tags. This one's actually from a Christmas ornament, Kurt Sadler Christmas ornament. And these two journaling cards here, stamped with the song Silent Night, Holy Night. And it just goes back in there like that with a sweet little tag topper fibers here. Some French book page. And then this is just a flip up stamped with the words tidings of comfort and joy. You can have a look at this beautiful handmade paper. It's quite sheer. You can probably see the snowflakes stamped onto the back of this side here of this uh, journaling tag. And then another long tag and the words to the song the 12 days of christmas this little pink um, page spread here has an image of these beautiful little girls these angels with their wings and i've just used some vintage 
rosebuds, pink rosebuds. I think they're made out of satin. They're really sweet. And some of the um, holographic white um, eyelash trim backed onto some pink paper. I've done pink Christmas for the last couple of years and I just wanted to do something very different. So for me, this is more traditional Christmas colors, but I have to have some pink in there as well. And this little charm says Merry Christmas, as does the ribbon on the journaling card. Stamped on the back, may the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. And just some book page in the background, very simple. I didn't do much stitching at all on any of the journaling tags in this one or on the pages, only where I needed to, absolutely needed to. Center of the signature in this journal. It's got some scrapbook paper with just some images and um, this is green vintage lace that I've got on the tops of the tags here and some embossed holly die cuts with some bling centers. Sing, rejoice, let the bells ring for it's Christmas time once again. And that one is a bell that says Merry Christmas. Got some beautiful vintage blush pink trim on the pockets there. These are the um, dangles that I've got on the center of this, this signature. They're mostly in green and silver. That little tiny word says joy. So on each journal, um, I have an angel on a snowflake. I love using those kinds of things. Some people don't care for them. You can always cut them off if you don't like them. But to me, it's just like putting earrings and you know, lipstick, it's just finishing it off the way you would want to or icing on the cake. Sweet little vintage doily here with some beautiful silk ribbon that was gifted to me. And this side I've got a vintage lace um, side pocket or um, belly band with some Edith Holden book page of December, the holly and the berries, and a pink die cut up here. Of a, I did a, the chrysanthemums in pink. And this little charm says la 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 with a red bead. So sweet. Under the missile bow. I've got a pocket here with some holly die cuts and some gold applique trim. And this Victoriana postcard says a Christmas kiss because of the mistletoe. more of that beautiful handmade paper stamped with a Christmas tree and die cut words tis the season some French book page and here I've got some beautiful beautiful vintage lace and silk that was gifted to me thank you George Ann and some paper from the graphic 45's 12 days of Christmas this is another image from one of Lorna's kits and here on this side, we've got some sweet little pine cones that I've tied onto the vintage lace rather than pin them. And I've just put some ephemera in this pocket. This, these came from my mother-in-law. They were um, place cards, you know, when you are setting your table. So those would go in a little uh, place card holder. Beautiful images on these both in French. So uh, Bonnie Annie, whenever you see that, is Happy New Year. Here we've got another embossed snowflake page and I put some stickers on it and vintage lace with a silver thread running through it, stamped on the back with snowflakes. I love the blue and the white and the ivory together or the cream. Here's a snowflake charm, beautiful antique lace, gorgeous French antique lace. And this page has a sweet little um, smaller postcard. It's a vintage postcard that I had. And this tag with the vintage lace and a sweet little angel stamped on there. Or not stamped on there. This side is some beautiful scrapbook paper with just an image of one of the ladies from her vintage Christmas portraits kit. This is um, an antique um, cigarette card, I think you call them. 
That flower is called an orchid lady slipper. And this is the envelope that goes with the little note card in the front of this signature. So I've just added some narrow, or not narrow, um, it looks like it's narrower, um, antique lace and some furry fibers. That sweet little girl. And again, you can put something inside here. I chose not to because it's quite fragile paper. And I've tried to cut the note paper and fold it and stuff and it just, oops, this one goes on there with the vintage lace on the paper clip. Yeah, they will just peel and crack and fall apart. This pocket here is vintage Christmas music paper with some vintage seam binding. And these two journaling cards, this one was gifted to me. And I chose to include it because it was the perfect vintage Christmas colors that I chose to work with in this project. Some stamping here. Minimal um, distress ink on the edges. I've been using walnut stain uh, for the last few journals that I've made instead of vintage photo, just, just because I like it. And on this side, we've got a vintage lace pocket and an antique postcard. Again, I had to leave it in the plastic because it would peel otherwise. And this one says Freulicher Weihnachten, which is German for Merry Christmas. This one I don't think has a year either, but I'm sure it's well over 100 years. This little snippet was a gift also from one of the vendors. I love Etsy because when you buy things from them, generally they will send you samples or sweet little handmade items. And I just, I try to use them because I think they are just so, so sweet and lovingly made for their customers. A tag here with the Christmas music and holly. A page edging done with the Martha Stewart um, border punch and it's got um, this is silk this is some of the silk that was gifted to me they're just so beautiful I guess I need to clip this one and this is the last page in this journal a beautiful sweet little girl Joya Snowell I've done a few layers of vintage lace on the edge there, German book page, a holly die cut, and on this um, journaling card I've included a Christmas tree tag. And then the back is just very simple. I just attached some green velvet remnant that I had from one of my Sheila projects. And that's it. Vintage Elegance Inspiration. That's my name. So I hope you've enjoyed watching these and are inspired to go check out Lorna's beautiful digital kits on Etsy. It's uh, tailor-made journals. You can also find her on Instagram and connect with her through that. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Lorna, for the opportunity of extending to us the opportunity of doing a guest design team project for you using your kits very generous and I really hope it, it comes back to you in return and that um, you will get a lot more people interested in buying your kits because they are truly stunning I've seen a couple more that I'd really like to do but I chose these ones because Christmas was around the corner and it I squeaked these in as I did it as efficiently as I could because my time is just so limited right now. I only have a few snippets of time uh, where I could have take a few hours here and there to get them finished. So I hope you like them and thank you for watching. Have a great day.